But the former idol is also using his talents to raise awareness of an issue that's extremely close to his heart. With me again is Anthony Federoff and Matthew Alsante, Executive Director of the Sarcoma Foundation of America. Welcome again, welcome back, and welcome Thank to you. you, sir, as Thank well. You. Anthony, we spoke about all the success you were having as a finalist on American Idol, but something happened in May of 2005, just two days after you actually voted off. What was that? Yeah, my brother Dennis, he was diagnosed with stage four uh, sarcoma cancer, and uh, you know, I actually didn't know about it until I, I got home because they didn't want to you know, have me be distracted with it. So this is your brother, a picture of your brother, and of course everybody celebrating, uh, you know, your success. But what is that usually like, especially because it usually is a disease that affects uh, children, isn't it? Yeah, sarcoma disease where 20% of all childhood cancers are sarcoma, but only 1% of adult cancers are sarcoma. So it, it's, it's very rare and unfortunate what uh, happened to Anthony's brother, but it does happen. And, uh, that's why we need to get the word out that it does happen and create awareness for this uh, cancer. Anthony, what was your reaction initially when you did finally find out? Um, I couldn't really believe it. I was, I didn't really know what cancer was. I, uh, I thought it was just something they write about or you hear, you hear about it in the back of your, you know, in the back of your ear somewhere here and there. And I, I was just like, what do you mean cancer? Like, what is? And I, I didn't really, you know. I thought, okay, well, we'll. We'll fight it, we'll beat it, it's no big deal. So I was uh, in quiet disbelief for, uh, for a while. And of course you did try to beat it, didn't you? I mean, your family, there was family support, he went through surgeries. Yeah, he, um, you know, he fought for a year and a half and, um, you know, he had a tremendous support system and, and we were uh, confident that, that, you know, he was gonna beat it. And he did have a surgery um, where his cancer was removed and it was about seven and a half pounds actually. I mean, it was like uh, a volleyball. And, um, you know, I don't know. He, you know, he fought as hard as he could and, and we had hope after his surgery because there was only a 5% five per, five chance that he was gonna survive his surgery and he passed it with flying colors. Um, but the chemo just, you know, it, it, uh, it killed his um, bone marrow. And, and he couldn't reproduce it anymore, and that's what, that's what initially finished it. Tell us more about the sarcoma cancer. I mean, it really is rare, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's extremely rare. It's, it's not one of the you know, big four or five cancers that everyone hears about. So uh, therefore, it must also be not be one of the ones where there's, there are many research dollars going into it. Correct, and, and that is the mission of the Sarcoma Foundation of America. Uh, our goal is to find new and better therapies to help treat sarcoma. Um, our ultimate goal is to prevent uh, things like what happened to Anthony's brother from happening. Um, there's a lot of information, good information for sarcoma patients or people who want to find out more about the disease on our website, and that's uh, curesarcoma.org. Um, but again, it, it, it does happen to about 10,000 people a year, so it's not as rare as you think. It uh, doesn't happen to the amount of uh, breast cancer or prostate cancer, things like that. But uh, there's definitely numbers out there that need to be uh, we need to find a cure for this thing. What, is, what were some of the major challenges for your brother? Some of the major challenges, um, I think adjusting to this thing mentally, um, because when, when you're a healthy person, there's a lot of things you take for granted, we all do. And, uh, for instance, he was married and wanted to yeah, have kids? Yeah, he was, he was married and, uh, uh, you know, he wanted to have kids and, um, you know, he had a lot of dreams and, and, and had, had hopes and, and you know wanted to live a happy healthy life and um, you know it's and, and, and just to overcome the all these things mentally and know that you have to put, put your life on hold basically to fight something that that may essentially end your life is you know I can't imagine how that would feel. You're really committed to the foundation now aren't you? Yeah I mean I'm, I'm forever linked to this to this cause and uh, you know when my record comes out every record that I'll sell you know, I'm gonna be, you know, proceeds are gonna go to uh, to this foundation and I wanna start a foundation of my own as, uh, at some point to, to try to just, like I said, to create as much awareness for this as possible and I wanna work uh, closely with the families that are affected by this and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a serious issue that need, needs to be addressed. And we, we talk about addressing it, what are some of the other needs of the foundation? 
the, the main uh, cause that the foundation does now is the money that uh, we raise or celebrities like Anthony help us raise goes towards grants that uh, we give to sarcoma scientists who are trying to find a cure for sarcoma. Um, we focus on translational research, which means going from basically the test tube to the bedside. That is what our big push is, and there's not a lot of research going on for sarcoma. So uh, the more money we raise, the more grants we can give, uh, the closer we can come to a cure. And you're going to be performing to help raise money. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know what, and I, I want to say this, that when, when my brother got sick, one of the problems or the biggest problem that we, that we have encountered is we couldn't find any information on this cancer. We looked online, we did research, but there was nothing available to, uh, you know, f for us to, to get help. And, and uh, I, I had no idea that the SFA actually existed. None of us did. So, uh, you know, that's why, that's why we're here because it's very, very important that people have information. So, because if you don't have tools to fight something, you, you know, it's just, it's not gonna, you're not gonna win. Thank you for helping us to put the information out there. Next, yeah. hear an inspirational story from one sarcoma patient and a live performance from Anthony Federoff. When we return, stay tuned. Never, never, never. When we return, Anthony Federoff will perform a song he wrote in memory of his late brother Dennis. Stay tuned. No. 